Whenever we need to store an image within the database, then we need to follow certain steps. Define a file stream object using the image file as the source. Define a binary reader object to read the data present within the file stream as a binary data. Define a byte array variable. Read the data from the binary reader object and assign it to the byte array variable. Once the image file content is converted to the byte array, then we can use either ADO.NET connection or disconnected model to store the data to the database. Now let us understand how to store an image within the database using the connection oriented model. Let us create a table with the name events with the following columns event ID, title, event date time, photo. Let me flip to Visual Studio.NET Windows Forms application. I already designed the form with the controls required for the application. I have placed a couple of labels, text box, a picture box and button controls. Let me click on the add button. Now let us write the code to add the image to the database. I have defined an object for open file dialog control globally. We have defined an object for file stream and then I have defined an object for binary reader based on the file stream object. Defined a byte array variable. Read the data from the binary reader as a byte array information and assigned to the byte array variable. And also we defined the variables to hold the values of event ID, title and event date time. Once the data to be stored is available, we have used a simple connection oriented model to insert the record. For that, we have defined a connection object, command object, set the parameters for the command object, opened the connection, executed the statement and closed the connection object. Now let us execute the application. Let me provide the values for the controls and click on add button. Now let us verify if the record has been added or not in SQL Server. So let's flip to SQL Server database and execute the statement. We can observe the data has been stored within the database. Thank you.